All right, the moment of truth. And look at that right there. What? What is that? Wow. This is the first time in years since Apple launched Apple Silicon where it absolutely makes sense to upgrade. We have so many new Apple products, more coming, but I am the most excited about the new M4 Mac Mini. In this video, we are going to take apart this brand new design. I think Apple knocked it out of the park, other than this glued label. <laughs> this Mac Mini is incredible. First time in ages since it's been updated. And I have a friend who bought four of them. Oh, Vadim. <laughs> this box is like the Apple TV. Look at this. In the box, it's literally half as thin as the box. Dude, is that smaller than your palm? Okay, let's see. My <laughs> hand is larger. My <laughs> Wow, Apple. What is crazy though is not only how small it is, but how it performs and what they did on the inside as well. I love that they added these ports on the front. I never thought they would do that with the Mac Mini. They did. You have your headphone microphone input on the back. Thunderbolt, we got HDMI, Ethernet, they didn't get rid of that, your power cable, and we have the power button hidden <laughs> right here. First test, Vadim. All right. Can I reach under? Oh, I cannot, I, I cannot wrong. reach under. <laughs> Vadim was wrong. Oh, no. But how often do you turn off your Mac? Especially a desktop, very rarely, you can hit restart. I think that is just fine to have it hidden there. Now here you see all the grills. We have a decent standoff from the bottom for its size and they have a stack design, which I am so excited to see. Now we bought a ton of different M4 Mac products. We're gonna make some amazing comparisons. Please subscribe because you don't wanna miss these real world videos that we do. Now there are no screws on the bottom of this thing. So we literally have to right into this cover and this thing is not working. I have to be very careful with this metal. Let's not break it. We need this for testing. <laughs> now this is really weird because I heard that there's a surprise change with the Mac Mini. All right, we got the clip and why is it so hard if we have the surprise change? Oh no guys, we got a crack. Oh my goodness. All right, look at that. That is crazy looking. So that's a large fan there. That's how they separated the intake versus the exhaust that's angled to make sure it's not mixing. So the bottom part is also an antenna. Bam, we got that off. And now we got a million different screws. All right, looks like this next panel is starting to come off. And look at that right there. Is that the speaker right there? That is the little speaker. Ooh. Still have one built in. That is nice. That's a big one. And look at this, guys. These sections right here are actually antennas as well going through where the airflow comes in. So if you ever had issues, these look like very powerful ones. And check this out. Apple actually has a little mini motherboard here with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip not on the main board. That is really awesome. And now look at this beast right here. This is incredible. We have a heat pipe spiraling all the way up to this section. All right, let's take off this beautiful fan here. I have to say so far, this has been fairly easy compared to other teardowns we've done. I think anybody can handle this at home, even if you're not experienced. But first, I wanna show you the coolest looking accessories for your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods. This is from our sponsor, Alumu, who is an independent designer brand and their products feature design and functionality like these A-series cases, which come with different styles and materials for your specific needs. They have four versions of these cases from vegan leather to aramid fibers with the CPU cooling tech that keeps your phone cooler. They also have a case for your AirPods and this cool band for the Apple Watch and a really nice G-series wallet and multifunctional magnet phone holder with a box cutter. And lastly, this four-in-one foldable wireless charging stand. And you can pick all of these up and more with our links below or use code MAXTECH2410 for 10% off until November 15th. All right, the moment of truth. And look at that right there. What, what is that? Wow, the rumors were true. No way. That right there, guys is a massive deal. Max, is that user replaceable storage? <laughs> yes. Who would have oh thought that gosh. Apple would ever do this again 
on a base level machine. They fixed it. They they fixed it. They fixed it. I never thought this would be possible. We thought the glory days were behind us for Apple. But like John Prosser and Sam said, make Apple great again. <laughs> we have a user replaceable SSD. It would have been so much easier and cheaper not to do this. Just solder in right there instead of creating the standoff, this whole connection, a separate chip with your 256 gig on it, but they chose to do it on a base level machine even. And this means that you will be able to replace it yourself. So we have one chip there. Look at the other side. Oh, we have another one. Two NANs. Two NANs. No, we are not gonna be getting slow speeds. We succeeded here at Max Tech, giving Apple the hardest time when they made that dumb move to go to a single NAND but now it is fixed and there's already a guy out there that is making his own replaceable storage chips for the, up, the other Apple machines. I'm sure he's gonna be making another one. And that means that you won't be limited to two terabytes. If you want to, you can go higher, much cheaper. This is incredible. This is some awesome engineering, guys. Apple did a killer job. Even the fan is custom shaped for better airflow. Even the speaker has an enclosure uh, built into it to make it sound better. Even though it's a tiny built-in speaker, Apple is going all out with the engineering. I mean, look at that right there. They didn't have to do this, but they did it. And guys, I have to say, look at that heat plate for the heat pipe and the whole cooling system. That thing is massive. I think the M4 is gonna be a silent machine always. This can cool off the M4 Pro. These are such efficient machines. So next, I wanna go ahead and see that chip. So let's go ahead and get this thing off. And it looks like it ain't coming off. I thought it was gonna be easy, but it's probably screwed in from the bottom side. So we gotta take this apart further. And now I'm taking off the little power connector. Good thing is, most of you guys will never have to do this much. It's easy to swap out the SSD. And as you guys could see, we have user upgradable ports. So you can swap them out if you ever break them, just like on the Mac Studio. Now let's go ahead and pop out these little ports. Look how easy that is. Bam, very quick to replace. And now I'm gonna get started on a bunch of other screws to get this uh, PCB out. All right guys, many screws later, we have some movement. Let's see if we can get these ports popped out here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. We're going this way. <laughs> Let's see. Gotta be very careful. I don't wanna break it. That's awesome, dude. Vadim, you see more than me this time. <laughs> what do you see? Darkness. Darkness? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Nothing broke. Was that good? Oh, that's a little LED sticker for the front. It's a little cable with the LED. Wait, is the whole power supply going through this cable? Look. No way. <laughs> that's how you know that the M4 chip is efficient. Low power. This is literally how everything gets powered through this tiny connector. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, Dude, we have shielding. That, is that the computer? This is the computer. Dude, how thin is that? That's more than all the computer. <laughs> That's, oh, this smokes. is it. That How is, does Apple do that? That's insane. Dude, imagine if they did an external power supply. Yeah, if they did an external power supply, here's your whole power supply here. I mean, they did make it so efficient. The previous one, I believe, was 170 watts, way overkill for Apple Silicon, because they had like six core Intel models that had tons of wattage. But now look what they need, super thin, wow. doesn't get that hot, airflow just goes around it. Um, that is incredible, all wow. built in. So we have the M4 Mac mini right here. And on the back, we have this huge cover. Apple has a ton of shielding on all of their chips. Make sure they have very little interference. Oh, buddy, I'm seeing something. No way. What are you seeing? It looks like a graphite sheet Ooh. in here. So let's see. Trying to be careful. I don't want to break more. anything. <laughs> I know. ASMR right now. I will not break this new Mac Mini. I will not. <laughs> I will not. I will not. Oh. All right. Oh my goodness. So look at that. Look at that graphene, bro. They did not have to do this. And look at that dual-sided PCB filled with chips everywhere. 
course, we have the little retention clips with the screws for the heatsink that was holding it down. Look, we have some spots for some kind of a chip. I don't know what would go there, or maybe that's just from the other side it's soldered. So very, very dense there. And now we can go ahead and set this thing down. And just like on the previous Mac Mini, we can go ahead and unscrew the heat sink. Look, they even have some chips or something <laughs> underneath these, maybe to ground it, I don't know. We got that off. Oh my gosh. All right, is it gonna be falling off? Let's see. It's probably stuck. Nope, we got thermal paste on there. All right, guys, you ready to see the M4 chip for the first time? There oh. we go, guys. Wow. Look, Look how small that is compared to the whole shape. Look at the bottom of that heat sink right there where we have the thermal plate and not a lot of it is being used for the M4. There's so much extra space for the M4 Pro, the larger one, and we have thermal paste on the memory as well. So you guys see the M4 chip right there, CPU, graphics, everything. We have the unified memory, and amazingly, we have 16 gigs now at the base. That is the hugest deal. Apple is winning this year. Thank you, Apple. That right there is a powerful, package wow and now let's get this bad boy cleaned off so we can see that beautiful apple logo people were saying that we're apple haters when we made a big deal about the single nand but we like apple when they make good choices and provide a lot of value to you guys and there you go ladies and gentlemen we have the apple m4 chip incredibly powerful for the money, nothing else comes close. And if you wanna see how this M4 compares to other machines, make sure you guys subscribe above. We have an incredible amount of videos coming that you're gonna love. Check out that video right over there. This has been Max, and we'll see you in the next one.